City, Iowa right now. We are picking up a load. We're going to take it to um, Topeka, Kansas, our normal stopping grounds. Not sure what's in the trailer yet. I will have to let you know here in a second when we pull around to the other side of the building and grab our paperwork. Tonight's going to be painful. Alright, we got our sample, we got our tag, let's put that in the back of the trailer back here. There's some lungs in there, if you're wondering, pork lungs, quite delightful, they're tasty, they're yummy, man I just, I can't wait to get them, my mouth is just, just drooling as I talk about them. Tonight, we're in some pain. I threw the back out, um, right, right down there. I threw my back out. And you're probably thinking I was doing some manly thing, and you're right. I was wrestling. I was wrestling a very large, large um, demon from outer space, and uh, well, he was whooping me there for a little bit, but I, I, I got the upper hand. But in the process, just like a long time ago. When I hurt my arm, you guys remember that? I can't remember what I was fighting there, but I got the better hand of that demon. I'm the winner, other than my back is completely thrown out, and I can barely stand here and talk to you, let alone drive a truck down the interstate. You think they're going to believe that? Where are you going? <laughs> Dad, I don't even believe you. They might believe me, though. Topeka from Orange City is 300 miles. We're going to stop in about 80, 90 miles down in Onawa, Iowa. We need to throw a little bit of fuel on board the truck. Um, our weights are heavy. I don't have my glasses on. I still have them somewhere, but that uh, evil beast we were fighting from another planet, he, uh, he threw them somewhere in here. I haven't found them yet, but I will find them before we stop and get fuel. That's, that's what will happen. It was mean, dude. You guys should have seen it. It was like eight feet tall. Big old long, big hands. Scared me. I was more scared of him than he was of me. I, I really didn't think I was going to come out ahead on that one. But I did. Because I'm a big, tough truck driver. I'm not out of shape at all. I'm in the, the peak shape of my life, man. That's why I beat that big demon. Yes, sir. Now why are you limping again? You stopped limping for a little bit, now you're limping again. What's going on with that, man? You limp, I limp. But I hurt my back, remember? The demon? Yeah, Dad, I don't know if you should still go with that, man. No one's gonna buy it. Truck stop's closed. It closes at night now. It's nothing new. It's been closing at night for the past three or four years now, and for some reason, I forget, 
every single time. But I'm going to take advantage of it, of getting off the interstate. Or just grab fuel down in Percival or something. But I'm going to take advantage of it and walk the German and walk myself. Surprisingly enough, walking makes the back feel better. Getting out and walking, it's the setting and stopping that keeps it from feeling better. Yeah, he's on his leash. Because like I said, walking makes it feel better. Well, in order for me to stay walking, I have to put him on his leash. Because Opie likes to dilly-daddle. 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 Dilly. He likes to take his time. And I got to stay walking. We still have some snow sticking around. But our temps, the past, uh, I think probably two days now, they've been in the upper 40s, lower 50s. And today, sitting right now, we're sitting at 30, 43 degrees. I can handle that for February. I'm sure we'll probably get some cold stretch coming at some point, but I can handle these warmer weathers. Warmer weather, it's just the, the mud that comes along with it isn't the most pleasant. But for the most part, it's doable. I still complain a lot about it, but... I'm gonna complain anyway. It's just kind of what I do. Truckers and farmers. Those are two people you can guarantee to get some whining and complaining from. Don't laugh at me. Dad, you need to apologize to Grandpa. You always give him stress. I am. Dad, I am very sorry. I give you stress about walking, leaning over because your back hurts. I'm right there with you, man. I am very sorry. We gotta try these a little bit later. I don't know if you and your brother play with that. We can try it though. We've been down this road, haven't we? <laughs> You're not a huge fan of those. This thing's pretty cool. Wanna open that for me? I'm one handed. No? Okay. It's a bell that goes on the motorcycle. Oh, I know, I know. We went down to the P.O. box. I'm a little bit behind. There was some Christmas cards in there. I truly appreciate it, guys. I truly, truly appreciate getting that stuff. Um, Opie got another gift card from McDonald's. He, uh, he appreciates that as well. We got that little care package for Opie and Jax, and uh, and we got to dig into that. The boots for Opie, um, we've tried them in the past. He, he, he's not a huge fan of those. Uh, 
And as for the bell for the bike, I got that as well. And uh, those are pretty cool. Those are really cool. I truly do appreciate those, each and every one of them. All right, we're at Lovely Loves. It's been a while since we've donated uh, some money here. And uh, I think uh, I probably shouldn't push my luck. This wind is really knocking the miles down, miles per gallon down. So we're just gonna slap on a little bit. We're not gonna go crazy with fuel here. We're just putting enough on to make it work. I gotta stand up for about five, 10 minutes, five minutes. Five minutes before I try getting out of the truck. Then once we get out of the truck, I walk around the truck once or twice while it's fueling and, uh, and things will feel better for the most part. <laughs> How far do you think we're gonna make it now? Where's your old sniffer going? I think you're gonna be okay. Even Opie's looking at me like, dude, we're stopping a lot. And I'm like, dude, it feels so much better to get out and walk right now. issues with a lot of videos ago eh, not too long but a few videos ago I was ranting and raving I was mad and everything he's still kind of out there but we're getting it along now thanks man appreciate it came off the concrete yet I dropped my trailer on concrete and the shake driver was bringing an empty around I'm all jumping around trying to flag him down I'm like don't go in the mud don't go in the mud no first class is not clean she is dirty but any chance I can get not to slop around in the mud I will take advantage of it so we're just gonna spin around our trailer will be in front of your guys's eyes in less than oh no I didn't turn big enough oh this is just embarrassing this is just embarrassing look at this oh mercy
Okay, I'm going to tell them the truth. I've been lying to you all night, and I, I was, I was going to stay with it. I mean, you guys were picturing it, right? Me fighting that horrible beast monster demon. Hold on a second. You guys were believing me, right? I mean, you could see it. Hi. Hi. How are you? Just tell him. All right. Well, there was no demon. All there was was setting. I sat in uh, Sarah's Jeep for um, uh, eight hours because we had to run up to South Dakota and uh, um, Tater Tot had a performance she had to put on up there at the college because she got, uh, out of over 300 applications, she was one of 12 that was accepted for a scholarship up there and she had to go perform at her college to determine on how much she was going to get for a scholarship but apparently I did not set level which I don't set level in the Jeep I always sit on one cheek because ever since we hurt my tailbone it, uh, it just is better to sit on one cheek on those seats Jeep seats are not friendly to people they are very, very violently rough, and I am done taking that thing on road trips, and I keep saying that. So yeah, I knocked my whole uh, hip, lower back out of uh, out of whack, sitting like that for so long. That's what the chiropractor told me, and I'm going to go with it. Hey. So there was no demon. I do apologize. On to uh, other topics, Opie. We need to have a serious talk. There's no way I'm going to get upstairs, and it's time for me to take a nap. I, I'm not even going to try getting upstairs, man. I'm, I'm going to need to share this bed with you, or you can sleep on the floor. Those are things that's going to happen. What do you think? Uh, what do you think you want to do? Do you want to share the bed with me? Or do you want to sleep on the floor? I'm not sleeping on the floor. Get that out of your head. I know that look. That look is, Dad, you're going to sleep on the floor. No, I'm not going to sleep on the floor. I'm going to share the bed with you. That was our main problem, wasn't it? Every time I got up out of bed, man, you rolled over and took up the entire bed. But you did good, I'm proud of you. You gave me room, not much, not much. And I got the, uh, the cushion to the floor area, so you were trying to push me out the whole time. I can't bend over and pet you, man. You gotta bring your head up, come on. Bring your head up, I can't bend over and pet you. <laughs> Dad, I'm ready for the show. Watching you get dressed is gonna be funnier than ever. Uh, I know. Why don't you just go ahead and enjoy the blanket? You can use that one, okay? The worst part's the socks. patiently waiting to go outside. Can you see him being patient? state here at uh, Onawa, Iowa. Uh, Mapleton's not too far from here. We're going to buzz over there and see if I can actually get into the chiropractor, get myself uh, 
adjusted and uh, see if we can move again. Last night when I was sleeping, taking my nap, it just got stiffed up, stood stiff. I got stiff again and uh, we were having some issues moving again. you gotta stand up and like make the blood flow to your legs because you can tell it's pinching something there's a train but I can't wait for it I must go inside oh yeah chiropractor back home was unavailable so Sarah goes to one up here in Sergeant Bluff and she had an appointment up here just to get adjusted so I figured I'd ride along this should work right Chiropractor with a buffet. Let's see your shirt. I'm in my Kelsey era. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought your mama would be a nice mama and come get us. No, we gotta go walk. We gotta walk in the rain, and I have to walk really slow. It's oh. fashionable. I know. Sarah, do it. It's a Lizzie. Oh. Lizzie did. Yeah. Oh. I think the lady did a little bit too. Just yeah. FYI. Well, it is almost time for Tater Tot to perform in the jazz choir or jazz band. I'm sorry, this is jazz band. I get them goofed up. Right now, I'm coming outside because mom and dad are coming up for this performance, and uh, well, I want to make sure they get in there and get seated pretty well. Everyone else is. Uh, doing pretty good a lot of competition at this one uh, all day today it's just class 2a schools all day we're up in Sioux City Iowa right now the back is uh it's feeling good enough feeling good enough I haven't been moving anything I haven't loaded the trailer the I'll show you guys a trailer I'm actually driving uh, the school vehicle that puts all the instruments in the trailer and that's what I'm doing right now is I'm driving that trailer it feels okay though. Ow, don't bend over and we'll be good to go. Right there. You just won't look at me, Claire. I'm going to take it. Well, we are back up in Sioux City for a third time for a third chiropractor appointment. I am tweaked every which way, but the right way. Time to start covering it up with pills. 
guess what I just did though? I went out to eat at uh, Old Chicago there um, the other night after Tater Tot and the kids finished up fourth in the uh, jazz festival that you guys just got done watching. They they missed third by by uh, three. I think it was three or four points. Seventeen schools were there. We ended up fourth, almost third. But I needed to come back up, get tweaked again. But old Chicago, I went there by myself. I don't, uh, I don't often do that. I know I'm a truck driver, but I never eat really out much by myself. I just eat in the truck kind of thing. Whew. We're gonna wash the Jeep, then we're gonna go home. This video spanned over a few days and it's been long enough so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up if you guys liked it please throw a like down there if you're not subscribed yet please consider subscribing I don't whine about back pain in every one of the videos I'm usually whining about something else other than that you guys stay safe and as always I'll see you next time